quick solo trip after the storm. There's been a massive amount of rainfall in Nelson and across New Zealand yesterday and I think there's some more scheduled for today but it doesn't really look like it. There's just some high winds and everything's super wet. <clears throat> there's been trees down, slips, road closures and probably a good idea that I didn't go out yesterday like I was planning to but this will just be a nice chilled out camp still a reasonable walk going left at 8 30 we'll see how long it takes me to get there probably around one but I'm in no rush today so I'm just going to cruise enjoy my coffees there was snow up here yesterday but I think it got rained away Bit of rain starting to fall, a few spits, I hope it does rain actually. And I can get a good spot for my new tarp, the Alton Ultralight Tarp. It's beautiful, forest green, shiny. It's pretty stunning walking through here in the morning the sun coming up and you can see little raindrops falling down through the forest everything's so dewy and lush after all the rain Good bro. See some rain showers coming in. The weather looks pretty good though. Gonna have this coffee. Won't have anything to eat yet and carry on. Maybe have a peanut butter slug on the way up. I think it's about another hour and a half from here. That's the most water I've ever seen coming down the waterfall there. Pretty loud. Wouldn't want to fall in. Go all the way down the gully. It's pretty warm today. I thought it would be colder and the wind seems to have died down. At least down here anyway. Maybe not get any rain. It's kind of sad. I wanted to hear it on the top. Oh well, maybe it'll come in later tonight. Let's just wait and see. Full blowing sweat. <clears throat> it's kind of nice actually. Push myself up this hill as hard as I can. Because why not? 
That feels good. New purchase. Elton ultralight tarp, three by three. Nice color, got it from the gear shop. In Nelson. I've never set up a tarp before, so not sure how this is gonna go. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm not a boy scout though, so I don't really know how to tie knots and I don't have set up um, tensioners and everything. So we'll just have to make do best we can. Not bad for a first attempt. So I just realized I forgot all my temp pegs. So I'm gonna have to cut some up and make some temp pegs. <laughs> Good. Good thing I got my knife. I don't need to make them really sharp or good because there's not much wind here and the ground's soft. So, should go in alright. Good thing I didn't forget the tent poles. <clears throat> Forgetting these would be a bit more of a problem. Pretty good. What? The rain's coming. Camp set up. Wasn't too bad using bits of little beach for tent stakes. Worked pretty good. It looks like it's raining up on Gordon's Pyramid. Little spits are starting to come down. I'm gonna have this one square meal, sort all my gear out, and then get firewood. And then I hope it pisses down. Yeah, I can hear rain hitting the fire. Awesome. <laughs> so I got the tent set, all my gear out. I got the Cedar Summit, little pillow. The MacPack Latitude and the Thermos Trail Pro. Heaps of room in the tent when it's just me. Now I'm going to have one of these Radix recovery smoothie things. Then I'm going to tidy all the gear up, then go get firewood. I've got my bears chilling in the water and I got all my stuff unpacked. 
Already got a bit of wood over there. But I should be able to find some dead standing trees, which would be good. And then, yeah, we'll set up base. I think it's about 2 o'clock. I left at 8.30 in the morning, so I've got heaps of time for all my camp chores to get the ultimate setup going. Got my um, jet boil pot, which I'll speak about later. I'm going to have a spicy Italian sausage and creamy truffle pasta. Some onion, garlic, fennel, cherry tomatoes and capers. Got some spicy noodles to have as well and we've got these luxurious chips which is going to be real nice and these thought i'd try them out see if they're good as a snack can't forget the capers anyway got things to do these radix shakes aren't exactly visually the most appetizing meal or food item you could bring on a trip they're not disgusting they look pretty disgusting but they seem to have great effects for keeping your body in good shape recovery so i have them i just mix them up in my cup it looks like slime but it's all right i value quite highly being able to keep physically able to do these trips and i think these help so i'd highly recommend these radix smoothies if you're after something lightweight compact and packed full of nutrients. They're also really good for a long distance trip as well. Cause you've got lots of like veggies and fruits and nuts freeze dried and ground up into the powder. So you're getting several serves of your vegetables and fruit. Pretty beneficial I'd say. Delicious, thick spinach, almond, strawberry and spirulina and banana. They actually taste quite nice. Quite mossy. Reasonably dry though. Pretty grey out there. The weather's coming in. Got some wood. Gonna go get another load. Maybe one more load, two more loads. It should be sweet. Then I can prep it, be back for that. I've got quite a bit of wood now, taking a lot of energy to collect it. Now we've got to chop the wood into nice sections and do some betoning. Get it all neat and ready to go. Then I can start my treats. Kindling that piece of wood. The rain's coming in. Gotta prep this wood up. It's got moss all over it. Quite wet. Rains are coming. It's not too much more to do. 
that wood pile. That's the dry stuff for kindling. It's pretty dry. Is it? I think we'll be able to get that going pretty good. Smells floral. Look at that. Right, so we've got all these little sticks, medium sized bits, all batoned up. Gonna build the fire, got all this. Gonna get myself set up and start to relax soon because I've been on an endless mission. Some would say it's cheating, but I'm okay with it. Today, everything's so wet. You can smell this dry wood though, it smells very nice. It's like a fragrant, a woody fragrance of the native bush. It's not very cold considering the time of year. The weather system that came down was from the north, so warm air, lots of rain. I like the fire at four, I think. Five, six, seven, eight, five hours of burn time. I'm just chill by the fire, have my beers. I'll review my beers. I've got some really good ones this time. Garage Project, Liberty Brewing Co couple of garage projects I think and uh, Ubernaut that super lager thing the trusty Pika pot I was playing with the pocket rocket deluxe the one with the peso igniter on it for some reason it just makes me want to buy it although it doesn't really have any upgrades that I need over this and it's 180 bucks in New Zealand so it seems a bit silly to buy it, but I don't know. It's calling me. All the gear's calling me. It's hard to know what this weather's doing. It's got a bit of a tang to it. Yellow water. The nice tan tang. Jet engines. Kind of cool having the teapot, making little cups of tea. Double bag it. And because I'm dumb, I carried all the way up here some milk. And that can go with my oats in the morning, which will be quite nice. I also brought this ice cream container lid to use as a little chopping board.
seemed to have the fire going now. It started to get pretty hot. You can hear the hissing. It's taken a lot of work and nurture to get it going right. But I think we're getting near a critical temperature so I can relax a bit. I might go grab a beer. 7.8%, 2.7 standards. Let's have a taste, eh? Whoa, that's clean. Clean. And a citrusy, pretty smooth bitterness. Clean bitterness, a huge wave of mosaic, Sartre, and harvested fresh in Nelson Savon from Freestyle Hop Farm. It is clean, smooth. For a 7.8% beer, it's so smooth, you hardly taste the alcohol in that, really. It's delicious. Come on rain, that's all we need now. There's spit coming down, but nothing more than that really. Man, it's pretty nice just to be up here and relax and ponder life. Proper crisps. Cider vinegar and sea salt. Put some in my little bowl. This bowl was at my parents' house when I was a kid growing up. This little yellow spotted bowl. I think it was one of two. But now it's in my tramping kit. Great memories, great bowl. The fire's cranking now. Bit of rain coming down. Very fine. It's pretty cool having the top. It's like a middle little house in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why I'm batoning right now. I'm just doing it because I like it. A nice little faggot. The wickers are calling. My next beer, the Ubernaut, which I had two videos back. Disco beer. Fires hissing. And the rain's starting to fall slowly. It's like a mist. And there's wickers about. One just went for my chip packet. Man, the wicker got my some of my chips. And as I chased the wicker away, I ran into a sawn off piece of tree that smashed into my hip. Look, it's coming back. Go away. Go away. It's like the ultimate lager. Ubernaut. Imagine a lager, but actually nice. Nuanced lager is what I would describe it as. 6.5%, so it's a strong lager. It's like a Stein Lager Pure on steroids. Probably how I'd describe it for someone who hasn't had it before. I underestimated how much moisture has penetrated the wood. The beach up here though, they're covered in such a thick moss, it must leach into the dead trees and make them, make them, you know, still quite damp, hard to dry out. Look, the wick is right there. Go away! If I didn't leave early in the morning though, I wouldn't have had time to do it all, because it's a huge mission to forage for the wood, prepare the wood, Cut the wood, bit on the wood, build the fire pit, set the tarp, set the tent. You know? When you're just tramping, like, I'm gonna go from A to B, you do more interesting trails, but you don't have all the, you know, the stuffing around that you get 
when you can. Which is nice in a way, but doing this is also nice too, and that's why I do it. It's like a different experience in the outdoors versus doing some hardcore trail where you're just eating packets of dehy food and walking all day. But there's some pleasure to be had in the, the suffering. It's a suffer fest. But you always look back on those suffer fests with the fondest of memories. To the people that watch the videos aren't subscribed which i think is a pro probably a common trend for youtube but i'll keep making cool videos well i think it's kind of cool coming out here but talking about gear maybe talking a bit more about gear in the future potentially maybe reviews just because i like it so much and just trips like this either solos Look at solo trips or big tramps either by myself with my brother or with Victoria probably mostly in Kaharangi I'm actually looking forward to summer again so I can go deep into Kaharangi and not get scared of the short days and all the cold and wet the current state of affairs at the campsite going real good now and there's just like a misty rain falling which is real nice you can hear it hitting the tarp it's quite a bit of water Tarp works real good. It's got a real nice coating on it, all the water just beads right off it. Here's a back. That's amazing. Going to my beer fridge. Yeah. A garage project, red IPA. I like red IPAs. Mm, the malt. It's pretty nice. This is pretty good. I don't know if it's any better than the Hot Federation though. The Hot Federation Red IPA is exceptional. This seems to be sweeter. They claim pineapple heavy. You do get a pineapple, like a sweet ripe pineapple flavour from this one. This is a really nice knife. The steel's great, it keeps a real good edge. I mean, I don't use it for like finely chopping things, but with this little sharpener that it comes with, you can actually get it really nice and sharp. When I originally purchased it, it was very coarse and it felt like it was ripping the blade up, but now that I've used it a bit and kept going on it, it's actually quite fine. It feels like it's a good level of grit to get a nice, like, not like a razor sharp edge, but like sharp enough for general use. I'm surprised at how durable it is. This is a beast. Bash the shit out of it. Cut things up. Really nice handle. Barrel rod. Morican knife. Great product. 
This tarp's mean. You can see the water. It's just beating off it. like a mist. Look at these beautiful wee faggots that I created. The beach. The internal fibers, they glisten. Look at the rings. Each line is a year of growth, isn't it? So I believe. It's a beautiful wood. With my final beer. What is it? The Panacious Weed. Garage project. This has been around for a while. It's a strong one. 8%. I think it's a double IPA. Just a strong beer. I'm gonna have this. Just slowly sip it. And I'll probably start preparing dinner soon, which will be really nice. I got a special pasta meal. So, for dinner, we got fusil pasta. The good old true tomatoes. Eight dollars for a punnet. They better be good. Soon petrol will be eight dollars a litre. Got these little fennel seeds some coconut oil, one brown onion, and this is what I'm curious about. This is a Pam's finest pasta sauce. I think it's like truffle, some like truffle mozzarella mushroom white sauce, and some Sicilian spicy sausages, and salt and pepper, oregano, and some chili, and some garlic. Special mention to this, this is the jet boil pot, 1.5 litre capacity. It's got a extremely robust non-stick coating. It's got the heat exchange flux ring. It's got a little cozy on it. It's got a little rubber handle. And it folds over and keeps you know, like this. Pinch and dunk. Keeps the lid on, it's nice and tight. Put it in your pack. It weighs about 300 grams. It's got a nice lid with a little holder, quite a robust lid, which is nice, and it's got a strainer on it. It's perfect for two people, or one big meathead like myself. What should we cut first? Probably these sausages. I would never eat a sausage at home either. But, peel it back. So I chopped up that sausage on my fingers. It's a bit gross. I don't know what to do, so I'll have a sip of beer. I think if I... Baton a piece of wood, it'll get the sausage off my knife. Because I don't want sausage on my knife. Sausage! I suppose sausage is, is flavoured mint. I also don't eat mints. In my last video at Camp Lake, I talked about mints. I don't eat mints anymore at home. Only when I'm camping. At home, what I would eat would be lentils. I'll use this coconut oil. I probably don't need it, but... We'll get our brown onion. If I had to pick one vegetable that I could only eat for the rest of my days, it would probably, it, an onion? Brown the sausage. So now we're gonna add the onion and garlic. Once the garlic is gone and the onions clear. Chopped up these tomatoes. Gonna grab the fennel. Put those in. I'm filling the dell with a fragrant aroma. Fennel and Sicilian sausage. Onion, garlic and cherry tomatoes. And we missed some. She's a boiling. The 
Preposterous end. Everything's been added back in. We'll cook that for a minute or two. Then we have a huge pasta meal. It's pretty nice sitting out under my tarp. Super warm. Just enjoying the sound of the rain hitting the tarp. Capers in. That's nice. It's quite cheesy. Maybe just as an olive oil would be better than the sauce. I'm gonna watch the fire die down, then get into bed. Then wake up and have coffee, it's been a great night. In bed, very cozy, just sitting here. Looking out at the fire. Good morning. The wickers have been trying to steal my stuff all night long. Make a coffee. Then just listen to the pitter patter of the rain. It rained all night. It's quite nice. The tarp seems to be um, not leaking anywhere or anything. So it's cool. But I didn't set up my tent very well. So I was kind of, my feet were higher than my head. And I don't like that. So my sleep was a bit weird. And I'm kind of sick. So, my nose is blocked. Don't know if you can hear that. That's wickers going. It's like a chicken. It's a native bush chicken. Kind of feels like it snowed on the tops. It's a bit cold. I am just wearing a thermal. It'd be nice if I could just properly relax without having to stress about wickers. Come here then. Oh man, they're way too close. That's way too close, man. Time for the real coffee. The wickers won't give me a break. Go away, man. No! Oi! Hey! Creamy oats. I highly recommend this jet boil pot and the pocket rocket combo. Works great. No! Nice creamy oats. Mm. I suppose packing up in the rain is not that fun but I've got the tarp up so I can pack everything up but the tarp and then quickly just shove the tarp in my bag
which is pretty good actually. The wickers are relentless. Here it is again. This spot's got too many wickers. Gotta pack down all my stuff now. And then begin the trek back to the car. The oats were nice. The camp was nice. Everything was nice. It was a great trip. And it was cool to test the tarp out. Definitely like the tarp in the rain. These wickers just won't leave me alone. Anyway, let's get into it. All packed up. Gonna head out now. My pack clip on my waist just cra um, cracked as I was tightening it up. So I'm gonna have to walk out <laughs> with no waist support on my pack unless I can somehow try to tighten it up. It's a bit of a shame. Anyway, leaving the spot. You can hear the stream. Must be a lot of water in it. H2O. It's really nice walking through here next to the river. A nice misty rain coming down. It's a favorite part of the walk. It's really nice. Man, that was a super fast walk. The boots are feeling great. The coffee helped drank from the stream, didn't even stop, boosted out. I think that was my record from the lower rock shelter to floor a saddle in like an hour and five minutes. It's pretty fast, especially with all the bits and bobs in my backpack.